Hi, my name is Karen Rostoka Gruber. I'm the author of Rooster Can Cockadoodle Do, which is out of print right now, so I have permission to read it. So I'm going to read it to you, and I hope you like it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Rooster Can Cockadoodle Do. <coughs> One morning, Rooster woke up with a terrible sore throat. <coughs> <laughs> oh my, he coughed. My throat hurts too much to cock a doodle do. Rooster wondered how he was going to wake up Farmer Ted and the animals without cock a doodle doing. He went to the hen house. No one was collecting eggs. The hens were asleep. <coughs> wake up, hens, Rooster whispered. I can't cock a doodle do. <coughs> you poor thing. You look exhausted, clucked the hens. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without cock a doodle doing? Maybe the cows will know, said Rooster. The hens followed Rooster to the cow barn. No one was getting milked. The cows were asleep. <coughs> cluck, cluck. Wake up, cows, they said. Rooster can't cock a doodle do. Oh, my. How utterly frustrating, moved the cows. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without cock a doodle doing? Maybe the sheep will know, said Rooster. The hens and cows followed Rooster to the sheep pasture. No one was getting sheared. The sheep were asleep. <coughs> cluck, cluck. Moo. Moo. Wake up, sheep, they said. Rooster can't cock a doodle do. That's bad, bad news, bawled the sheep. How will you wake up Farmer Ted? without cock-a-doodle-doing. Hmm, maybe the pigs will know, said Rooster. The hens, cows, and sheep followed Rooster the pig pen. No one was pouring slop. The pigs were asleep. <coughs> cluck, cluck. They said, Rooster can't cock a doodle do. Oh dear, that's a mighty big problem, blinked the pig. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without cock a doodle doing? You don't know, bawled the sheep. Now what will we do? There's no one left to ask. <gasps> Let's go to Farmer Ted's house, Rooster said. We'll just walk right in and wake them up. The hens, cows, sheep, and pigs followed Rooster to Farmer Ted's house. The house was locked. Oh my! Now no one will ever collect our eggs! Clucked the hens. If someone doesn't milk us, we're gonna burst! Mooed the cows. Our will is so long, we're tripping on it, bawled the sheep. We're starving, oinked the pigs. Rooster felt awful. This was all his fault. Farmer Ted's bedroom was on the third floor, and there was no way to wake him unless... The sheep stood on the cows, the pigs stood on the sheep, the hen stood on the pigs, and Rooster stood on top. Will you please move your hooves? They're right in our eyes, mooed the cows. We would, as our friends the swine, would stop wiggling their tails in our faces, bawled the sheep. <laughs> to the feather brain quartet, to quit tickling our snouts, oinked the pigs. Oh, who are you calling the feather brain quartet? Plucked the hens. Oh my, what's all this ruckus? 
said Farmer Ted as he opened the window. <coughs> Rooster pointed to his sore throat. Farmer Ted squinted at the sun. It's getting late, he said, putting on his overalls. I have to finish the chores before the sun sets or I won't be able to see what I'm doing. He warmed up some tea with honey for Rooster, look at that, and carried him to a chair by the pond. Then he quickly set out to work. The animals watched Farmer Ted. He's never going to finish the chores before the sun sets, clucked the hens. Probably not, bawled the sheep. We've got to help him before our milk curls, mooed the cows. <gasps> we have an idea, blinked the pigs. Oh, they helped Farmer Ted collect the eggs. They also helped Farmer Ted milk the cows. Oh, they also helped Farmer Ted shear the sheep. Look at that. And they helped pour the slop. The sun set. After their busy day, the animals and Farmer Ted were ready for bed. Rooster had rested all day on the chair by Farmer Ted's pond. His throat was nice and warm from the tea he had sipped, and his feet even had a slight tan. He felt much better. Thanks for all your help today. Cock a doodle doo! He crowed with all of his might. Glad to help, just pipe down! Fluffed the hens. We're trying to get some sleep, mooed the cows. Give it a rest, bawled the sheep. Save it for the morning, point the pigs. And that's exactly what Rooster did.